All right, my beautiful friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Friday. Happy Friday, everybody, the 11th of September, 2020. We've got the moon coming home in Cancer. All right, the sun in Virgo. And today on the chart, I've got uh, pulled up just the septiles and quintiles, the fate and destined kind of energy. Okay, the septiles are really fate. Um, and the quintiles are creative ways that we overcome something or creative ways to look at something, a creative, you know, insight or intuition that comes into us that we learn uh, how to adapt and, and to create something in our lives. Okay, so we're creating. It's, a, it's about creation. All right. So the moon, home in Cancer. Okay, so we're, we're, our emotional needs are about the home, are about family, connecting with ourselves, connecting with our emotions, connecting with nature. And of course, we have the sun over there in the sign of Virgo, uh, making sure that we're grounded, that we're stable, that we're putting in the work, regardless of the Mars retrograde going on right now, right? We're doing the work, whatever is necessary to get done. Uh, now, let me show you this chart here because we've got some cool energies going on here. Okay, so the sun, quintile to the moon, okay? There's a creative way to go about whatever we have to go about doing right now, all right? This is all about grounded, being grounded, and, and putting in our services and being focused, being very focused on getting the things done that we need to get done. And of course, the moon home in Cancer, uh, you know, this is about surrender, Okay, surrendering. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, how how much we try to fight sleep. Eventually, uh, 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 we have to recharge our batteries. You know, that's the moon's job. You know, that moon comes up. You know, serotonin is daylight, and and let's go. It's the you know the rise of the sun, and let's go. And melatonin mellow you out. So when the moon comes out, mellow. We we our energy kind of goes down. We surrender to that rest. Okay, so. Uh, with the sun quintile to the moon, this is, you know, understanding our own bodies, in a sense, understanding our bodies and where we need to push forward and when we need to rest. As well, we see these quintiles happening here to Lilith, that wild feminine energy. And of course, you know, there's masculine and feminine in all of us. And Eris here, which is how we deal with uh, information coming into us. If we're getting annoyed, if we're getting bothered, if we're, you know, uh, getting triggered by something. Okay? So this is saying focus on this energy. Why are you allowing yourself to be triggered? Why are we allowing ourselves to be heated? Why are we allowing ourselves to be triggered? And then furthermore, can we heal this? Can we surrender? Can we let go of whatever these annoyances or triggers are? <laughs> okay, I think we can. I think we can. We're going to stay focused and figure it out. Now, of course, we have Neptune here, still septile to Uranus. This is the Great Awakener, the Great Shake. And like we talked about, I think it was the, the Mars retrograde video where the Earth, Earth sign is the pulse. Okay, it's the, it's the cadence, keeping everything in rhythm, keeping everything in order. Order, 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 right? The Earth signs. And Neptune is not about order at all. It's our heads in the clouds, we're dreaming, it's creative, and it's our imagination. Okay, and it's about expansion. We want to expand beyond these, you know, what we think is possible for us. How good can life get? How great can it be? How far can we keep going? You know, how good can it be? Okay, so Uranus's job is to create release, is to break things up. All right, so this septile, this fate and destined connection saying we're breaking free of this cadence, we're breaking free of this order, of this tradition, and we're using our minds, our imagination, and the feels, those emotional feels that are beyond, you know, just verbal, you know, we can feel things that you just can't put into, you know, can't put into words, all right? So this septile is really helping us out here, breaking the cadence, breaking the rhythm, breaking the... the uh, the tempo of what is and, and, and it's flowing, flowing freely, you know, like the river and the streams. Okay. Um, also, we still have a continuation going on between the south node, septile. This is a biceptile over here to Chiron. This has been continued energy, you know, about healing self. So we get this creative outlook today in our emotional balance to ourselves you know, balancing being grounded, balancing being emotional, as well as this I am energy, 
You know, I am ticked off. I am annoyed. I am bothered. Okay, well, why are we bothered? Okay, so Chiron here, the wounded healer. Chiron is all about healing, healing the mind, healing the I am, healing the ego. Uh, Septile here to the south node is going to, continuation is going to be happening. Of course, it, it's the, this, uh, I have to think like everybody else does to be accepted. Okay, and that's just not the truth. We have to find our own truth and be our own magnet. And, we, you know, uh, once we walk our own path and march to the beat of our own drum, right, we, we create our own rhythm, okay? Uh, and, and we don't always have to fit into the, the rest of the band. Maybe this wasn't the band for me, isn't the band for me. That doesn't mean I'm not accepted, so I don't have to take this personally, right? This is big. It's like I don't have to take things personally. I can allow them to just be and have a different perspective, as well, balancing Mercury in our relationships, making a septile here to Pluto. And that's all about transformation, transforming our thoughts, transforming, making sure that we are grounded, making sure that we are uh, understanding that we are our own authority, okay? And that we can change our communication. We can change our minds. Things change. And we want to bring balance to these things in our lives, all right? So all in all, it's a day of balance. It's a great start of the weekend. All right, and the moon's going to be in Cancer almost all weekend. So it's a really lovely place for it to be. My friends, have a beautiful Friday, and we'll see you tomorrow.